Hey everyone, it's the Potato Nader here, and welcome to the final part of my playthrough of Tales of Iron. Like always, there will be timestamps in the description below. Reggie now has the gas mask and can take the fight to the frogs. Let's continue his journey. These devices appeared to give the power of flight. Reggie would have been impressed if they were not on the backs of frog scum.
Nazi bomb. So where you go? Too late. Reggie saw from the docks his brother's silhouette on a ship surrounded by tribal frog soldiers. No sign of their foul leader. He had to get to his brother.
Reggie had little trust in shamans, but there was more mystery in this world than his father had taught him. The shaman had gone, but he'd left a key. None had seen a turtle in many seasons. His father claimed he found one here as a boy. But it didn't look old. Reggie was almost two after all. Could a turtle reach such an old age? Grateful to be free, and promising entertaining tales of Reggie's father as a pup, the turtle offered to take them across the river to the foul froglands. The turtle bid the pair farewell. Reggie asked his friend to stay by the river. This was not his fight. But Jay never abandoned a comrade in need. They were as brothers now, he said. Expected something as foul as frog spawn, but the frog lands were strangely like home. Apart from the smell. The same pipes that were in Station 24-7 were visible here. This was how the frogs were invading. Jay was furious the engineering that kept moles safe was being used to hurt others. Oh. <laughs> 
Common grub. Reggie dreaded to think why the war chief would keep so many captives. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
This was why the rats had been captured. The war chief had offered them up for the shaman's twisted experiments. The war chief would answer for many crimes this day. The shaman had tried to hide in his workshop. The things he'd made and used on Reggie's kin were here. There was nowhere he could hide. Shaman's cruel experiments were over in a puff of foul green smoke. The war chief's throne room could not be far. He was the one who started this. So it was with a sword in his skull that it must end. What was this evil twist on Molecraft? A grotesque monster of creaking gears and steam. The sight of it made Reggie freeze. But Jay's fury could not be held back. The sound of his small friend's body falling lifted the spell. Reggie didn't know what this thing was, only that it would die screaming.
even in the frog slime and its stench of death, it felt good to be fighting with his brother at his side. wouldn't believe it. Everything the evil frogs had taken from him, his father, his friend, his kingdom, they wouldn't take his brother. And they wouldn't take him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Everything the evil frogs had taken from him, his father, his friend, his kingdom. They wouldn't take his brother, and they wouldn't take him.
wouldn't believe it. Everything the evil frogs had taken from him, his mother, his friend, his kingdom. They wouldn't take his brother, and they wouldn't take him. Everything the evil frogs had taken from him, his father, his friend, his kingdom. They wouldn't take his brother, and they wouldn't take him. wouldn't believe it. Everything the evil frogs had taken from him, his father, his friend, his kingdom, they wouldn't take his brother, and they wouldn't take him. 
Everything the evil frogs had taken from him, his mother, his friend, his kingdom. They wouldn't take his brother, and they wouldn't take him. Taken from him, his father, his friend, his kingdom. They wouldn't take his brother, and they wouldn't take him.
No, Reggie wouldn't believe it. Everything the evil frogs had taken from him, his mom, his friend, his kingdom. They wouldn't take his brother. And they wouldn't take him. Stop. No, Reggie wouldn't believe it. Everything the evil frogs had taken from him, his father, his friend, his kingdom, they wouldn't take his brother, and they wouldn't take him.
Everything the evil frogs had taken from him. His father, his friend, his kingdom. They wouldn't take his brother. And they wouldn't take him. chief was dead, and the kingdom saved. But what did it matter if his brother was gone? The rat folk rejoiced to have their king home. They had prepared for Reggie's coronation in the throne room. They had been sure he would return to them. To Reggie, it was a bittersweet victory. He had proved himself, but it came at a cost higher than gold. It was the start of a true golden age, free of the scourge of frog spawn. Working with the mole folk below, they built a new kingdom of steam and industry and wonder. But that is, as they say, a tale for another time. Man, that was awesome. Reggie was able to finally put the war chief down once and for all. I wonder if we'll ever hear any more tales about Reggie. Thanks guys so much for watching the ninth and final part of my Tales of Iron playthrough. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more playthroughs, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you know when any new content comes out. Be sure to also check my community tab and my Twitter feed to stay up to date on when content comes out. 
And as always, I'll be back. See you guys.